What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about the JSON and serialization in the Flutter. So if you uh, haven't watched my previous tutorial, feel free to reach out to my channel page and you will find a Flutter GetX tutorial, Flutter UI tutorial, a Flutter Network tutorial, and Flutter Widget tutorial and their programming language tutorial so don't forget to subscribe to my channel some add my content and open the notification so you won't miss out the latest flutter tutorial okay without further ado let's get started so first we're going to uh, talk about what's json so json uh, stands for javascript object notation and it's a lightweight format for storing and transforming the data. It often used when data is sending uh, over the internet. The syntax rule for JSON is quite straightforward. So first the data is in name and value pairs and the data is separated by commas and curly brace host object and square bracket hold arrays. So let's back to the uh, Visual Studio code. And as you see here, uh, I created this user.json file. And as we mentioned, this curly breaks hold object, uh, which means it holds a user object. And we have a name and value pair. So the name is my name, and the email is my email, and it's separated by the comma. We will use this JSON file in our project because uh, we're going to talk about the serialization and deserialization. Another term for uh, serialization is encode. So for the deserialization is decode. And there are two approach to uh, serialization JSON in the Flutter. So the first one is the manual approach. And the second one is we could import the third party library the uh, automatically serialization uh, for us. So let's discuss the first approach that is the manual serialization. For the manual serialization, we will need the package uh, start converter and we will have uh, a module class to uh, convert the JSON to the user model. So back to the code and here we have these a uh, JSON file is under this assets folder. So in order to reuse this JSON file, uh, we're going to uh, specify it in our pubc YAML file uh, in line the 64 and we're going to open this assets tag and write down our uh, location for our JSON file. So it's assets user JSON. So let's save it and after we save it, uh, we could access these user json in our flutter file that's back to main.dar and here we will use the template code and because we only focus on those two methods one is uh, encode json and another is decode json so we don't focus too much on the ui thing and here i just have two buttons one is decode json and another is encode json in order to load our json from the file we're going to import this a uh, flutter server .dar. and after we import the server .dar, we will access to this root bundle and we could load our uh, json string and then we're using these dark converter method called json decode and we will convert these uh, user string into dart map as you see in these uh, my map the json decode is turn the json string into dart map and the json encode is the reverse we turn the dart map into the json string and back to the code and for the decode we load the json string and we turn into the dart map and I using this debug print to print out the name attribute inside our user map and also the email. So let's comment out the race part. 
Okay, let's save the call. And I'm going to uh, switch to my debug console. So when I press this button, uh, you will see uh, we successful uh, get those value inside our user map. So for a name is my name and the email is my email. Is successful convert this user uh, JSON string into the dark map. For the JSON encode, it's a reverse process. So first we will declare the user map contains the name and the email and we were using uh, json.encode and we will put our uh, user map and you will return the user string so let's uh, click this encode button and see the console we will get this uh, map string which is exactly the same as our uh, user.json that's the basic idea about the JSON serialization. And however, uh, in our project, we will need this uh, model class because we will be using the data from the JSON and to create our own model. So for example, back to the code. And here I create a class, uh, which is the user.dar. And it's our user model, we have this then attribute an email attribute so in order to construct our user are we going to write two methods so the first one is user dot from json and we will receive the uh, dark map and we will return this user object another one is we will turn this uh, user object into this dark map so let's look in our code again back to this main doctor and let's comment out these uh, code inside our decode.json so as you see uh, we have our uh, json string and we turn into map using this json decode right when we have this user map we could pass it to this user dot from JSON as the parameter and you will return this user object back to us. So let me comment out the debug print for uh, line 66 and 67. And I'm going to uh, clear the console and press this decode JSON again. And you will see we will ss this user.name and the user.email because we construct our user using this user map which is from our json string so let's try it out when i click you will see in the debug console we print out the username and the user email because we successful construct our user object using these a user dot from json method which is a name constructor for our user object let's look at the two json method inside this encode json so for encode json we could construct our user object using this constructor and we will call it his instant method to convert our a user object to the start map so we, when we have the map, we could further using this JSON encode and turn it to the user string. So let's the manual approach to convert the JSON string into our uh, model class or inverse, convert our model class back to the JSON string. However, it's quite tedious if you have lots of model class and you're going to write it these uh, from JSON to JSON for every model class you have. So let's introduce another approach, which is automatically serialization uh, using the third party library. And the library we're going to use is JSON annotation, build runner, and the JSON serialization. I will also this this official documentation in the description below. So feel free to check 
this readme file and back to the Visual Studio code in order to use this uh, code generator so first we're going to declare our JSON annotation under this dependence tag and for this builder runner and JSON serialization we're going to put it under this step dependence so this is the uh, first step so after you put those dependence in your pub's PC YAML file and you're going to wait for a few seconds to download the necessary dependence so the next part is create our model class using the JSON annotation so let's open our user slash auto.dart file so let me delete this uh, auto generate code file for now so when I delete, you will see I got error. Don't worry about those errors for now because we will run the command to solve these errors. So let's look at the code for now. So first, we're going to import this uh, JSON annotation library. Then we could use these annotation we put before our class name. We are using this add JSON serializable. And we have these uh, bracket and then uh, scroll down we will have the user dot from json and uh, to json those two method so in order to uh, let code auto generate those for us we're going to put these uh, and slash uh, dollar sign user dot from json so this would be the same as your class name so if you have a class called book you're going to write it book from json and you put json here so the same thing for these uh, user to json so this should be the same as your class name and you have a underscore and this dollar sign before your class name so after you put those you will alter generally these uh, from JSON and to JSON method for you. Okay, so scroll down, and the last part you're going to add is this line sex. You're going to add this part keyword, and you're going to put user dot auto dot generate dot dot, which will include the automatically generate code for you. So let's run the command to generate the code. So let's switch to the terminal in our Visual Studio code. The command we're going to run is called flutter pub run build runner and build. So let's run this command. A flutter pub run build runner build. So when I hit this enter key, uh, you will auto generate those two methods for us. One is from JSON, another is to JSON. And you will create the user slash auto dot g dot dot file for us. And we will include those files in our uh, user auto dot dot file as we CPC in here. So just wait a few minutes until the action complete. So after few minutes, the code auto generate for us, which include uh, these user from JSON method and the user to JSON method. So those two method what we need from our user auto right? And you also see the error all gone. So Let's try to use this user auto file in our uh, main.dar. So I import this JSON serializable dot user dot auto dot dar, right? So before I was using this uh, JSON serializable user dot dar, which we create this user from JSON and user to JSON by our own. So let's comment out our serialization user dot dar. And let's try to use this user auto.dar. By using this user auto.dar, 
all the code is generated from this uh, generator. You will generate the user from JSON and user to JSON for us. So we could use those two methods as well. So in our main.dir, and let's restart our application. So first, we're going to try this decode JSON. We will still uh, load the JSON string and try to convert to the user object. And as we mentioned, this user dot from JSON, this one uh, is the code auto generate for us user from JSON. Okay, so let's try to click this button. So when I click, uh, you see everything is work fine. And we have uh, my name and my email address. And we have construct this user object successful. Okay, let's scroll down. Let's try this encode JSON. For the encode JSON, uh, we first construct this user object and we call uh, user dot to JSON. And you will return this user map and we're going to encode the user map and we got this user string so let's try press this encode json and as you see the result is what we want it's uh, exactly the same as this uh, user json we got the name and the email okay so that's everything for uh, today's lecture so for today we cover two approach to serialization the json so the first approach is manually serialization and the second approach is automatically serialization using code generator. I will also post this JSON serializable link in the description below. Feel free to reach out to this page and if you need some advanced feature from this library, the documentation is all with very good resources to read. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, some of my content, and open the notification. I will see you in next one.